Short Ball, brought to you by Han Super Dry 3.5. Hello, I'm Nick McArdle and welcome to the Short Ball, the best bits from the weekend's Super Rugby action and there certainly was plenty of good stuff, lots to get through, so let's get started. Across the ditch in Dunedin this time, the Highlanders and the Canes, the two form teams in New Zealand went head to head. It was a tight first half, Reggie Good scoring the opening try early in the second half and then TJ Perinara sneaked over. The Highlanders fought back but it just wasn't enough in the end, the Canes winning five straight for the first time ever. Now, over to Melbourne, where the Rebels started like a house on fire, racing out to a 13-0 lead, probably should have been more. And then the Lions found their roar, some great hands down the right. Maestri inside to Marnitz Bossoff, and the finish with a nice little dive from Marnitz. And then Lionel Mapu sealed the deal. The Lions with their second win on tour, 20 points to 16. They've got the Reds this week in Brisbane, back across the Tasman, where the Cheetahs matched it with the Crusaders in the first half. Johan Sardi crossing here to go 12-7 up, but then the floodgates well and truly opened up. The Red and Blacks running in another seven tries, including four in the last six minutes. 57-14 the final score there. Now to South Africa, a couple of nail biters. Firstly, the Force against the Bulls at Loftus. The Force scored three tries in this one with Adam Coleman going over for the first, but goal kicking really let the visitors down. And as the Bulls fought their way back, Andre Pollard and his radar boot made them pay, slotting this 45 metre penalty for the home team to sneak a one point victory. Now, this was a bizarre game in Durban. Three red cards in 15 minutes, including this shocker from Bismarck Duplessis, who misses the next four weeks for that, but they somehow ground out a 12-11 win. The sole try of the game coming from Sam Kane for the Chiefs. And we finish off at Allianz Stadium, where the Brumbies hadn't won since 2002 and still haven't. They got off to a great start through Matt Samur, but then the Tars turn on the style and this man, Israel Folau, finally broke his drought to bag his first of the season. The Tars running out 28 to 13 winners there. Now, some great entertainment over the weekend. 26 tries all up and the pick of the bunch is this one from barnstorming Crusaders winger Nemanja Nandolo. Check this out. Here they come again on the counter-attack. Todd, swayed away to Crotty. Nandolo drops it onto the front. Tears after it. Oh, he's magic, this fellow. Yeah, nice work, Marnie. We're going to stay with that New Zealand theme for a moment. Our question on the short ball poll this week. Are the Hurricanes the real deal this year? after their unbeaten start to the Super Rugby season. Vote by tweeting hashtag shortball yes or hashtag shortball no to at Fox Sports News. Are the Hurricanes the real deal in 2015? What about this? Some of the biggest hits on the weekend. Here's the pick of them. It's Hammer Time. Oh, hammer Time! Sokoanga with good running ball. Oh, Nono again. Thumping tackle. There's Fikitawa. There's Nonu. Brilliant tackle. Oh, big tackle there. Naya Ravoro over the top of one. Uh, so good, the tries and the big hits. That's the sort of stuff that you can watch over and over and over again. Whereas maybe just the one look will be enough for this one. Something you don't see every day, and that's okay. You've heard of the ball and all tackle. Well, Tavita Kurandrani, the victim of a shorts and all tackle at Allianz Stadium on Sunday. Symbolic, maybe, as the Brumbies certainly had their pants pulled down by a very physical Waratahs side. Good game, that one. So, don't forget, Rugby HQ. This Thursday night, we're going to catch up with Will Genia to meet the latest addition to his family. That's little Olivia. And we're going to chat about the Reds as well. Plus, Sean Maloney's wraparound goes global again from Hong Kong this time. And he's got a special guest with him in Brian O'Driscoll. Stephen Hoyle's with us in the studio as well. That's Rugby HQ, 8.30 Eastern on Fox Sports Channel 502. And our match of the round this week is at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane on Friday night where the Reds, with a number of their big guns back, so the pressure is on, take on the Lions, who are on a bit of a roll at the moment, fresh off their win over the Rebels. That's the special time of 8 o'clock Eastern on Fox Sports Channel 502. And that is round six of Super Rugby all wrapped up. And as always, if you see anything from the weekend's action, let us know. The Twitter handle is at Fox Sports News with the hashtag, the short ball. See you soon.